Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. In this video, it's going to be a bag with a story, a reveal, and what fits kind of all combined together. Um, the story starts out a couple of days ago. I got a text message and my phone was plugged up to the charger so I didn't have my phone on me. And probably 30 minutes to an hour had gone by. When I finally looked down at my phone, I saw this picture of a handbag. So I know sometimes we text each other, you know, silly stuff to watch or something fun for the day or, hey, little PSA, whatever. But this particular picture, it is a item that had been on my wish list ever since I saw hers in a video a couple years ago. And then every time it pops up on other channels, and the bag was not available. So when I saw the bag in the picture, I was like, okay, is she just sending me this just to tease me or just to remind me, look what I got that you know. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I remember her showing her bag first in natural, and she also has it in crimson. And... I remember Suswet showing hers in a video in her saddle collection, I believe. She has it in black. And then when some of the tribe members went on a trip to the tent sale, I believe in 2018, Sonja Covington, a.k.a. Phenomenal Personality, she even had the bag in bone, which I didn't even know the bag existed in so many different colors until, you know, after researching and seeing a QVC video. And then I believe Miss Q, when she did her For Real Fridays, she was looking at the same video too and was saying, oh, I wish they bought it back in other colors. So back to my text message. <laughs> I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, why did she send me this, you know? So I was like, well, I don't know if I need to call her or start scrolling because sometimes she'll send a text message. I'm just going to throw this out there. And it's like the word go and go get it if you want it. <laughs> I didn't know whether I was supposed to be looking for this, like I said, or if it was just a teaser. So I go to Dooney first, then go to ILD because I'm like, OK, I don't know where she saw the bag at or if the bag was there. So then, OK, let me call her. I'm calling her first thing. Okay, where'd you get this from? Where'd this picture come from? Is this an archive picture? You know, what, what did you send me this picture? <laughs> so she was like, it's back on the site. So she said, I ILD, I get over there. Don't know what I'm searching for, whether Florentine, saddle, search by color. Because, you know, sometimes it's not just plain and simple. You have to narrow down your word choice to figure out where the bag is, uh, how it's going to come up. So finally I found it and then my second thought was, okay, yeah, this looks like your bag, but is it the same size? Did they make a smaller version? Is this the same size or is it a bigger version? Before she could even answer me, all I saw was 14 inches long. It was in my cart, checked out. I don't even think she had processed the thought to tell me the answer to my question. <laughs> And when I say my version of FOMO, first of many others, that's all I'm going to say. This bag has not been out in years. The bag has not been out in years. And like I say, I had been wanting this bag ever since I saw hers. And when she sent me that picture, I'm like, okay, she really trying to tease me. She know I can't find this bag nowhere. Even to the point I thought maybe it could have been on QVC or something. <laughs> but I was like, you know, you try not to fall out with people because I've told her several times, you know, Dooney Addict, I should just get your bag. <laughs> you got the crimson when I can take the natural or vice versa. And, you know, the answer is always no. But I was like, you try not to fall out with your tribe sisters or <laughs> your enablers because, you know, they look out for you. <laughs> but, I mean, it was I was just so excited at the time. So I said, once this bag arrives, no matter which color gets here first, this will complete me for 2020. I mean, first, you know, wish for the large Russell to come back. It came back 
Got the two colors I wanted. Smith came back in red. Got that. Checked that off my list. And then now the saddlebag. So I'm like, they gave me a tote, a satchel, and a crossbody. I mean, what more could I ask for in 2020? I mean, they didn't give us a heads up. It's like, yeah, we listen to you, but we're not going to tell you when it's going to show up. So if you really want it, you just keep checking back, I guess. I wasn't going to be no fool this time and miss it. So I got it. So I recorded the unboxing. and But then when I was going through my phone trying to clear out pictures and stuff, I deleted it before I uploaded the video. So this is where this video is coming from. So that's why it's a bag with a story, a reveal, and a what fits all in one. So I was using my Rebecca Minkoff Gabby tote, and it matched perfectly with what I had on today. And I just had on a sweater with some jeans. Perfect. And she's actually overstuffed at the moment because I went in to work today and me and one of my planner friends at work, we knew we were going to plan some stuff. So I have a whole bunch of extra stuff in my purse, but it all fit in there. And when I say extra, meaning I have my um, Kate Spade planner in here that I'm trying to see if I can use this size for 2021 to see if it will work for me or if I need to stick with my classic size happy planner so this is actually my 2021 one and I switched up the cover of course and this is the Kate Spade so I know this is not a planner video but size difference there so both of these fit in here and then the item I chose to pair with my bag was the coach patchwork pair so that's what I'm using this in the dreamer wristlet there so that's what one one there and to get on with the reveal and what's in my bag I'll just move this to the side here So I took all the plastic off and everything. Like I say, I had done a whole unboxing for you all. But my first one to arrive was my chestnut. The excitement about this bag was, it was like over the top. She even goes perfectly with what I have on. The bag is so rich looking in person. She's in perfect condition. She was actually covered in plastic. Um... Everything was perfect. No complaints. Arrived in perfect condition. So there are several videos up because everyone, I think, except me, got their bag before Thanksgiving. So I was hoping mine was going to come, but it was a little late. So, but it's finally, well, one of them is finally here. So the chestnut was the first to make her debut inside the home. And if you have not seen the other channels that have this video with a review... My first time seeing it was on Dooney Attic 615. And then, like I say, Suz What and Phenomenal Personality has it. I believe Handbag Hauler has shown hers. And um, Lisa J's World has shown hers. But everybody else's is in natural, but surprisingly, my chestnut arrived first. So either way, I know it's coming. So this is the chestnut. And... I wish I had one of those pedestals that goes around like when you're in a jewelry store and they have the diamond that's on the rack and then it's like it just circles in display so that you can just see the beautiness of this. But this bag is just perfect. Okay, so a little bit about the bag. Well, we'll start with the back first because it's the easiest. You have this back pocket here and this piece here actually comes across so you can get into the bag. This is the width of the bag. And to give you a size comparison, this is my Dunienberg Tech Top. And since I have it out, let me just see if it'll fit. Fits in there and all the way in the bag. So it's a nice size pocket. 
and these little things here are hard to get back on so I probably will not take it off but it's a great feature for added security but I would probably just use this one side and this is one side my phone fits in there but I'm filming on it at the moment and on the side here I love the way this strap is compared to other crossbodies that I've had from Dooney. With this one, I feel like I have added security because there is a leather flap and then this flap going over and then this uh, piece of hardware here to keep it intact. And I will honestly say, I have not even carried this bag yet, but she is my replacement for the Epic Fail crossbody bag that I had, <laughs> what, two years ago? that failed on me this here this right here is this really completes me for 2020 when all of them arrive that that really i'm pleased right now so on the front here is your logo plate in florentine and then this is where the fun begins you open this up and it's like two pockets do you hear that hardware Strong magnets, strong, strong magnets. But when you open it up, you have the gorgeous red interior here, the cloth lining. Here we have the two pockets. My phone will fit down in here. If I wasn't filming on it, I could show you. And my hand goes down to the bottom of the bag. Um, and they are also lined with the red interior there. So you could put your spray sanitizers or um, what do we say, pins or whatever you put in your pockets. Tissue on one side, spray and sanitizer, um, gloves, mask in here. All that will work. And let's see what I have. Okay, here is a pack of the two, four, six, eight, the eight pack of crackers, the big pack. Look at that. Here is a pack of the cocoa butter stick, old school cocoa butter stick. <laughs> Fits down in there. And I was trying to find my spray sanitizer. Oh, one second. The Bath and Body uh, hand sanitizer spray that I love. This is the 1.9 ounce. Fits in there perfect. Right here. Slides right in. So, the crossbody strap, it was covered in plastic, but again, I took all this out in my video <laughs> that I deleted. So the strap is adjustable. It attaches on both sides, and you cannot take the crossbody strap off. So you have one buckle here and on the other side another one. The neat thing about this, I will show you after I show you the rest of the bag. So on the inside, big spacious red interior so you can find everything that you need. Slip pocket here. The, if I can open it, zipper pocket here that has the registration card. And on the back of the front wall, you have another slip pocket here. So real rule. Comes with your key keeper, the one we used to see in. Same color hardware, but of course it's not the same gold hardware there. And to show you about this strap, 
this is how she looks if I just have her on my shoulder. She falls right at my hip. On this side, right at my hip. And I can rest my arm on top of it because I have not adjusted. I have the strap in the longest version to make it the longest. So falls right at my hip. So the cool thing about this, like I said, you have the, it's like a buckle strap. So technically I have a two for one because when you take this strap off, it actually is a belt. <laughs> Let me show you. It's just like a belt. You have the buckle here and the holes here. So my little son, can actually fit this around his waist. <laughs> or, you know, I can just keep it like this inside of my bag so that I don't lose it and show you how to connect what you have left. So you still have, what, five adjustable holes there. If I have it in the longest, I can wear this the shoulder bag, which I love. And I don't even know if I paid any attention to that feature in other videos, but this is great. If I have it on the shortest version. And the fact that this is easy to do and you don't have to fight with trying to adjust it with these little pieces here. So this here would be a more little snug feature. It still fits good up under the arm, but it's way more it's snug up under the arm there, which is fine for closer security reasons. If you're out and you need yours closer up, that's fine too. It just all depends on how tall or short you are, I guess. And again, this is the straps on the side. So you cannot take this part off, so. But I'm loving this, so it's a great function. So you have shoulder bag, still carried in a crooked arm, or it can be crossbody. Now, I will show you what fits in my bag. Let me put this part back together. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Let me make it back to what works for me. And just fits just like a belt strap. So this here was my pouch that I used in my Rebecca Minkoff that has my mask and gloves in it. We will put that in here. I have my if I put the Kate Spade planner in there, stand her up. She just fits right in there. I use this as my catch-all, the coach wristlet. I can stand it up in there. If I have the wallet, which I will need, <laughs> she slides in there in the back. So wallet, catch-all, planner, and my mask. All my essentials, my spray sanitizer will go right here in the front. I switched out and I have my Kate Spade pencil case. And I mainly just switched out because it's black to match the planner. <laughs> Still have space. My keys, which I probably never have on my key keeper. <laughs> and I have a second bottle of spray sanitizer. So, well, maybe I need them on the key keeper. <laughs> Everything is in there. And let's see if she snaps. Okay. Everything.
everything snap screws. She has stuffed a capacity, wallet, planner, catch all, face mask, sanitizers, pack of crackers. Everything I would need, and she fits. Perfectly. Okay, and now just to show you what it looks crossbody. Let me just put this back on. And like I say, this here is a winner for me because now I have a replacement travel crossbody that I can use as a shoulder bag if needed at night and crossbody during the day. All right. So this is crossbody. Still fits. And I have it a little higher up. It's not on the shortest or longest section that's in the middle, but fits perfectly. So I am very pleased with this. I thank her so much for showing hers because I never knew the bag existed. <laughs> when this bag was first out, I was not even carrying Dooney, so I did not know that I needed this yet. I'm so glad to have all of them in my collection now, whenever they all get here. But the colors they have available is chestnut, black, and saddle. And there are other videos of the natural where people have gotten theirs. This is the chestnut. And there's also, um, says what has the black and phenomenal personality has the bone. So several reviews are out there and where you can see the bag in different colors. If chestnut is not your color. I thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next video.